Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And for some reason, for some reason, they've gone ahead and greenlit a fifth season of The Witcher. Mm hmm Yes. I don't even know if, if the fourth one's going to do well, if people even want to see it. You know, we were joking, but they could do, like, cancel that. And now, no, no, they're doing a fifth one, too. This is coming from the casting director. Now, you got to remember here, guys, with Netflix, and I'm not saying it will or will not happen, but I'm saying Netflix has canceled things that were well underway before. They're probably going to take a look at how Witcher Season 3 does, and definitely 4 without Henry Cavill, before they go ahead and commit to a fifth season. That would be the smart thing. That would be the smart thing to do, and then we have a writer's strike and everything going on now, too. Like, well, what, what are they going to do? Promise it, and then be like, oh, but we can't do anything because the writer's strike. I, I don't know. This seems uh, this seems very premature. Uh, it seems very premature, but we're going to talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! And now we've been following the uh, decline of The Witcher, the exit of Henry Cavill, uh, Geralt from from The Witcher, and uh, you know he's standing in the news talking about what what uh, uh, Geralt wouldn't wouldn't do. And he's still talking about it? He's still talking about it. Well, because so they're still promoting season three. Right, So he's right. still under contract to promote that. So he's, he's you know, very familiar with the character. He plays the games. He reads the books. He was reportedly, reportedly not happy with the direction of the show, which led to him not renewing his contract. Now, there were multiple hit pieces, you know, done on Henry Cavill, including some leak that supposedly came from somebody on staff uh, at Netflix. Some people think it was uh, Lauren Hisrich, who's the showrunner or one of the writers, attacking him, yeah, saying he was. Her, her, she sounds pleasant. Yeah, saying she was un, or he was unprofessional and all this jazz, and and we know this happened. Yeah, but then the girl that plays, um, we had the actress that plays Jennifer saying that Henry Cavill was uh, was sweet and everybody loved him and that he was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, I don't know. I don't think we'll ever get a straight answer. I'm sure that um, you know that that is in the. Clause, the exit clause. It's probably the boss bitch, you stepped in my toes kind of mentality. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but every time that you've had a boss that's been a woman, they've been very insecure and very um, catty. Yes. And I mean, I'm not just saying Am I, am that, I allowed to say that? I, well, I, I'm saying I, I'll say it. Yeah, I've, I've worked for a couple of women and I, this is not misogynistic and it could just be coincidental. But the women I've worked for on average, were much more difficult to work for than the men now, I've worked I will for. say both those women seem like they had inferiority complexes yes, and they're yes. very insecure because I've worked for women and that other men were working for at the same time and they did not behave in that manner. So. No, no. I think, uh, you know, in, in the industry I was working in, the industries I was working in, it definitely is a, a men's club. So I think that in their case, if I was going to give them a pass, uh, I would say that they probably had to fight a lot harder to get to where they're at. Right. So... You know. But in both cases, it wasn't like, you know, you were, you, it wasn't like they, they, they were very skilled in that area to know what they were talking about. They just basically started a companies, but they didn't really, like, in regards to the jobs you were doing, they didn't know their ass from a hole in the ground. <sighs> They're supposed to, especially the one. Oh, but they really didn't. No, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother issue. But, well, I uh, worked with women. They, they were, they knew their shit. Yeah. Yeah. So let's anyway. So now people are going to be like, oh, my God, that that misogynistic clownfish. He won't work for women. It's like, no, no, no. I'll work for. He works for me. <laughs> you back. laugh, but am I wrong? Get back to work. Editing monkey slap. He works uh, for me. All right. Um, anyway, here we go. Uh, in an interview with Deadline, casting director Sophie Holland confirmed previous reports of The Witcher would return for a fifth season, which would be filmed back to back with season four. So that's interesting. We're just about to start filming season four with Liam Hemsworth, and there will be a short gap, and then we go straight to season five, well, she said. That's awfully like, I mean, I don't know. That's really presumptuous of either, you know, is it Netflix? Yes, yeah, it's Netflix. It's awfully presumptuous of Netflix um, and these people to think that people are going to want a season five. I don't think people want a season four. Yeah, because it said it was initially reported in September of 2022 that the fourth and fifth seasons of The Witcher would right. be filmed one after the other, although it was not officially confirmed by Netflix at the time the show would even uh, receive a fifth season. So at the time of writing, a season five renewal has not been announced by the streaming service. Uh, and they said The Witcher may not even last part, uh, past part five. But this is a casting director, not Netflix, right? Right. And the thing is, is that 
you know, they've they've had shows before. Netflix has canceled shows before and they're losing all kinds of money now because of the uh, uh, the password sharing lockdown. Right. So it, it it's possible that there won't even be a season four. Possible. I'm like they already, well, I, you know, they haven't started. Seems yet. like they've committed to it. They probably got the scripts locked down. Right. So it's that, not smart. I mean, because they're gonna go smart. on. They're gonna go on the, the success of the other seasons of The Witcher in season three, which has Henry Cavill. It's no offense to Liam Hemsworth, because Hemsworth, it's not his fault. We don't know how good of a job he'll do, but people are gonna be turned off immediately because they're replacing. Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill was a draw. Henry Cavill, you know, got slammed all over the place. People were more salty about it. He got screwed out of Superman again. People are salty about it. I don't know how it's going to go. And I think it's very, very dumb yeah. to go ahead and say we're doing season five. And we don't even know how season four is going to perform. It could be like one big plan for a write-off. Um, I, you yeah. know, we know they do this. Look at Warner Brothers. Yeah, so it's interesting, though, because it sounds like it's going to be the all-new, all-different Witcher. Oh, that's not going to work. They said there's a, a, a brand new, almost a brand new cast. They said in the same interview. Oh, yeah, that's going to go over well. That's going to go over really well. Holland told Deadline what fans can expect from the cast of the the uh, fourth season, including details surrounding a special standalone almost episode. Almost standalone episode. Almost standalone episode that will explore a completely new group of okay, people. Okay, so we're going to do the standalone episode to be the... To, Backdoor the, pilot. Right, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I was always confused when I was a kid. Like, they would have these these episodes of sitcoms and even animated series where they would introduce, like, all these new characters and stuff. And I'm like, what is going on here? Then, like, a year later, it's like, oh, hey, we got this, you know, Facts of Life is a thing now. Wait, that's... Because that was a spinoff of Different Strokes, right? Right. I'm sorry, I was reading this. It's like, we were able to find almost all new talent. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, that's yeah. never a good sign. I... But that implies that a lot of talent they had didn't want to do anymore. This sounds to me like it's going to be almost like a soft reboot. Like well, That's stupid because like, that never goes well. Like this is going to be the direct the DVD cheap cool to the Damn, this is not going to go well. Um, yeah, so showrunner Lauren Schmidt hiss rich. Now you have to say all three of her names. She get uh, married? I don't know. No, no, no. She's hiss rich. God, she sounds like, sounds like a member of Cobra. It sounds like, it sounds like, you know, like, I mean, I don't know her. She could be the nicest person ever. I've heard she's not. I, I know. I agree. But, you know, just the name sounds like, you know, we see one of these shows with the kids and there's like the horrible school mom and she's like this bitchy ass cow. That's, yeah. That sounds like her. That would so be a name I'd give that character. Oh my God. Miss Hissrich. Miss Hissrich. Um, so they said, yeah, they're going to end the show. Uh, they're going to basically give him a send off. It does sound to me like this is almost going to be like a soft reboot. You know, that's um, dumb. It's, it's dumb. not a good it's not a good idea, guys. I mean, I could see them doing four and five just to be like, yeah, let's just make sure we can squeeze some more juice out of this. I thing, can't. But. I think I mean, the only way reason that you would do that is if you really, really thought people were going to come back for it or you really, really needed a write off. Yeah. I and only know. one of those probably applies. I mean, they were really hoping The Witcher was going to be their Game of Thrones. Like, they they went all in on this. They were like, we're going to build well, a Witcher universe. started out universe. strong. Yeah. And then it just went to shit. It's bad. Yeah, so this is Blood Origin, which I haven't watched, which apparently Blood Origin ties into season three, I've heard. But... Um, 13% audience. Yeah. Only 37 people bothered reviewing it critically. Yeah, it's like, come on, people. Let's see what we got here. How the how the hell how the hell is season two ninety five percent critical? What are the audience? Dog shit. The season two sucked. It's got to be fifty eight audience. What's the audience on the other one? Ninety five uh-huh. critical, fifty eight audience, and the other one was sixty eight critical and ninety mm-hmm. audience. Okay, that I believe. The first season was was decent. It wasn't the best thing ever, but it was decent, and they set a lot up that they just did not deliver on. You know, in season two, season two was awful. It uh, deviated quite a bit. Um, and it was just it was basically the Yennefer and Siri show at that point, you know, and uh, I, I don't have any desire to even watch season three. Like I know it's going to be a shit show and four and five. It sounds like, you know, you know, Cavill was the only one holding the line that and he's out of the way. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's just going to. Yeah, because I mean, they because they, they, that they're mad at him about was because the fight he gave them over season two and the choices yeah. they made with that. And so they get rid of him because he's the stumbling block. So how bad is it going to go? Because he wasn't part of Blood Origin. Look what happened there. Yeah. yeah. You know, so these people, but the people that were writing this show were. What's that tell you? And they had the uh, the anime, too, which I don't think did very well either. I mean, they were hoping they were going to build out like uh, this was going to be their, you know, Disney Plus show, Star Wars or Marvel. But they could have. 
They could have. They yeah. just make bad choices. Like that's what that's what gets me. Like this is going to be known as like from 2016 till or probably 2014 till like probably next few years. The the decade and a half of bad choices because that's all it was. I mean things could have been completely different had choices been made differently. And it's not about diversity and inclusion because that still could have been done well. It could have been done organically. It's because of these idiotic representation, stupidity, you know, shit, shit shows where they're like, oh, look, 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 you know, we're inventing diversity and inclusion. It's going to turn this whole, this whole era into like, you know, one no one ever emulates. It's going to be in the books of do not make shows like this. It's going to be the decade of destruction. We've seen franchises that have stood for decades get destroyed in less than half a decade. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unreal how horribly mismanaged so many of these franchises and have been. One of the things they could do is make sure people that, that you hire for the show actively don't hate the source material. You know, like, you know, I'll bring up Shira a lot, but the people that are on the show, they get, oh, the search material is problematic from day one. That's how they went into it with. Tits, tits. Right, it's tits. problematic because, well, no, it's because, you know, the, oh, they're straight. It's problematic because of whatever identity politic reason. And they have, they feel like they have to fix it, to modernize it. How many times do you hear from modern audiences? For what, all five of your friends and you? That's what it means yeah. because it's like the, the majority, you need to, you need to not niche yourself to death. There's a way to do inclusion, but still hit mass appeal, and they have not figured it out. No, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I think it's going to be a disaster. I, I have no hope for this. There, you know, ten years from now, somebody will come along, reboot it, reboot it, reboot it right. Hopefully, but I hope um, ten years from now we're getting new things. Yeah, uh, for sure. So that's that's probably what's going to be the result. I mean, that's the one good thing about this. It's almost like a forest fire. Like it's going to burn down all the old dead wood, and we're going to have something green replace it out of necessity because it's like we can't keep going back to the same wells. Well, the problem you know? is, yeah, anytime you're basing it on something that has source material, you're going to have to keep with the source material. You can't change it. You have to stick with it. You have to improve upon it, not just make, you know, your own fanfic and say this, everybody has to love it or you're an istophobic, whatever, you know, new things. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.